Hello everyone. Today we are learning how to handle the errors in Python using try and accept blocks. Instead of crashing or giving errors, your code can respond smartly when something goes wrong. So let's get started with our VS Code. So firstly, we will make a file by the name try accept dot py. Basically, what is exception handling? Exception handling. Sometimes the things go wrong in the code, like dividing by the zero or file doesn't exist in your system. Instead of giving the error or letting the program crash, Python lets you catch and handle these errors by using the try and accept block. So if I give you the syntax like how to use try, just write try, try over here and you can put the risky quote here and in the accept block you can put the handling error right so if I start by giving an example to you uh, let's start with the basic example let's say if I am doing x equal to 10 divided by 0 over here and if I am printing treatment like an error occurred you know that dividing by 0 is not supported so it will not give an error it will just show me let me run the code for you it showed me an error occurred means this is not feasible so this is how we handle error by using try and accept blocks so what if we want to handle some specific exceptions like uh, by taking input from the user like if I'm taking input from the user in a way num equal to int input int input enter a number right enter a number enter a number and we are printing the result we are printing the result by 10 divided by num and if we are printing the result directly and in the exception if there are some specific exceptions like value error if it gives a value error like we entered a number which is not a valid number then it will print that this is not a this is uh, not a valid number valid number or if num equal to 0 then it will 0 division error 0 division error then it will prompt that you can't divide you can't divide by 0 let's run this enter a number if I am entering 0 0.0111 this is not a valid number because we need integer for this and if I am running the program again and I am entering integer over here you can see the output as 1.0 but if I give 0 as the input then you can see that you can't divide by 0 so this is how we can handle so there is no chance of giving an error by the compiler in this case because we have used all the possible exceptions over here like value error zero division error this is how try and accept block works always try to catch the specific speci specific exceptions instead of a generic ex uh, exceptions and uh, how we can use the else and finally blocks too we will discuss it in more deep in the next video so this is it for the 
try and accept blocks basically try and accept blocks are used to handle the exceptions in our python code it keeps uh, our code from crashing unexpectedly and it lets you give helpful error messages like you can't divide by zero and this is not a valid number you can see over here and useful when working with the user input like files apis sometimes the file not exist in your system and it prompts a big error in front of you instead of that you can use try and accept log and just print file doesn't exist over there and the file is not in the system so in order to summarize uh, this tutorial i want to say that a try block is used to wrap the risky code and accept block is used to cache the errors like and error handling is essential for uh, writing the clean and the robust python programs and this is uh, the best way to handle errors in python and i hope you are the concept of try and accept block is clear to you and this is uh, this is it for this video thank you guys for watching this video Thank you so much.